I'm with Andrew Zellman. I'm Ravenna Maselli on Radio. Andrew Zellman, publisher of Cleveland Scene Magazine, clevescene.com, right now online. Go check it out. Hi. Good morning. How's it going today? Good to see you here. Good to see you. Yeah, you, uh, as you mentioned, Berlin was in town at the House of Blues uh, this past week, and then they did a special, or Terry Nunn did a special show at the new Garage at the Rock Hall, yeah. uh, played a song, and I know you were there, and we were there as well, covering yep. it. Really cool that the Rock Hall kind of, you know, takes advantage of all the people that come in town and oh, tries yes. to uh, do their best to get them to stop by, you know, before or after their gigs, uh, whether they're uh, Hall of Famers or not, Absolutely. to try to um, give them some credence and show them around. And I've seen every CEO at the Rock Hall come and go, and I thought Terry Stewart was pretty good, I mean, from the very beginning. Mm. But Greg Harris has really stepped it up. I think he has done an outstanding job. He's the current CEO at the Rock Hall. And he's just, he has elevated the Rock Hall in such a way that it's really made it interactive. And I just have uh, good things to say about the man because I enjoy going there. And previously, it was just like, okay, it was getting it together, but he really stepped it up. What do you think? Agreed. Yeah. And people should uh, stay tuned because I knew the, know the new inductee list will be coming out That's soon right. for the one in Cleveland. <laughs> you have any predictions? Oh, I've been reading lots of articles about it. Um, I yeah. don't know. They it seems like the Doobies, oh, are, uh, are the Doobie Brothers could be on there. Notori be Notorious B.I.G. There's a lot of speculation Please. about him. Uh, possibly Oasis or Blink-182 oh, could get on there. I love Oasis. Devo. That would be great. Um, uh, oh, and Devo. Crop, for yeah, so there's there's these ones that have been snubbed right. over the past cool. few years, so there's all these options. Let's get to what's going on in yes. scene and around town in Cleveland, because you're the man. So this week's feature story is called Scoot Scoot Riot, and it is a story about all the scooters all around town. So at one point, there were, no, there were scooters by one company, then they were taken off the street, now they're back, and there's multiple companies, about three, right. that have scooters. We're so, inundated now. Right. So one day they just all appeared. And if you go around downtown, they're everywhere. So seeing uh, staff writer Sam Allard kind of got some initial observations and impressions of all the scooters, the three different companies, and mm -hmm. people's thoughts on them okay. so far. And uh, that is the feature story, is kind of the initial reaction to those scooters. Okay, so my reaction to the scooters, well... I'm against everything, but no, I'm kidding. Um, you know, if, if they're utilized responsibly, but people love them. They do. People yeah, love I was blown hopping away. on and hopping off. They're pretty convenient. Unfortunately, we don't have that bike infrastructure here, so that means we don't have the scooter infrastructure here as well for those like protected okay. lanes to keep people well, safe. we'll read Sam tomorrow when the paper edition comes out. Yes. <laughs> uh, also in there is uh, Doug Tratner's dining review of Dagu Rice Noodles. This is the place where they serve these piping hot uh, soups to you over 100 degrees. It's a new restaurant in Asia Town, yeah. and uh, it's a unique experience, and Doug chronicles it in the issue tomorrow. Excellent. You know, he took no prisoners in his last article. In the last issue, he was talking about uh, a hair yes. and food. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, if you didn't read that. Is it archived? It's pretty funny. It's online. He, said, he was recommending to people, if you get a hair in your food, just deal with it. Take the hair out. It's not a big deal. He's not talking about a clump. He's not talking about a braid. One stray hair, it happens. And he said, if, if, if you don't like it, send it back. Don't, He's a good writer. Don't start yeah. screaming at the restaurant. Yeah. Don't go write a bad it was review. So, it was so well written. You have to read it for yourself. Okay. What else happening? Sure. As so, we wrap it up, babe. Yes. Ingenuity Fest is happening <laughs> this weekend on it. Hamilton. Let me write um, that down. In the right. warehouse building on Hamilton. It starts on the 27th, which is Friday, and ends on the 29th. All kinds of music and arts and events. So people should check out Ingenuity Fest. There is a program guide for it in this week's issue of Scene. It's been going on for several years. So it has. I'm glad to see that. I think the best one was the Detroit uh, Superior Bridge when you went underneath. It was really cool. But Hamilton... Avenue. Yes. Is, uh, People should a check it out. In my books. So right. Good. All weekend long. All right. And then Pizza Fest is coming up in a couple of weeks. Pizza Week will be coming next Pizza month. Week. ClevelandPizzaWeek.com. <laughs> you know I'm down with that, being as my name is Ravenna Maselli. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Well, Andrew Zellman, thank you so much for being here, taking time out of your busy day. Scene Magazine. It's on newsstands tomorrow, the Get it online.